Today I'm going to show you something special and that is how to create infrared videos. What is infrared light? Well, infrared is very long wave light that is invisible for the human eye and that's what makes it interesting. It is especially interesting for things that are derelict, run down, withdrawn or otherwise kaput like in this case, which is the former railway station of the World Exhibition Expo 1992 in Sevilla in southern Spain. It's normally a good idea to put music under your videos, but since YouTube doesn't like it that much, uh, I just leave it be and try to tell some stories around the things you're about to see and I also tell you uh, at the end of the video how I make infrared videos myself and how you can do it too. The Ariane 4 rocket is obviously one of the most interesting items on the expo area. But the days when these afterburners lifted up this rocket into space are long gone and will probably never return. And the last visitor to leave these stairs left about almost two decades ago. And since the last ticket was sold at this entrance, nothing has changed on the former exhibition area. And the once modern architecture today rather looks like Dracula's castle. Today there are no discoveries made anymore in the lane of the discoveries. And now I show you how I make these videos. Here you see my normal video camera that I use for practically all my uh, YouTube videos. And I've attached the uh, infrared filter right to it. Since it doesn't really fit, uh, because it comes from an old camera, I just attach it with some adhesive tape. And this is how it looks like when you uh, put the filter in front of the camera lens. All the visible light is blocked and only the invisible light comes through, which you can clearly see when I hold the filter right against the sun. You can see nothing. To check out if your camera can handle infrared, just use any uh, infrared remote control, attach the filter to your camera and press any button on the remote while looking through your viewfinder. If you can see a pink dot, your camera can be used for infrared. Mm, there's only one little string attached. Um, infrared filters are very expensive, but uh, it is a very interesting uh, way of, of filming because of this light is simply invisible. So it's well worth, I think, to give this a try. 